good day today. I have an amazing guest. I can't wait till we get to it. But anyways, my name is Mercedes Young, and I'm the president of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of Tampa Bay. And I will highly, highly, highly encourage you to find us at www.hispanicchamber.com. TampaHispanicChamber.com or call us at 813-867-3550. And today I'm going to have an amazing podcast with one of our members because this is one of our member benefits. And this is going to be really interesting for all your business people. Start taking notes because this is how we get the contacts to get the contracts. You guys know that's my motto. So <laughs> with no further ado, will you please introduce yourself and, and let's have this conversation. Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm Natasha Blez. I'm with MBS Strategic Solutions here based out of Tampa, and I help small business and entrepreneurs get into government contracting. That's awesome. Tell us, we're going to mention this many times, many, many, many times. Tell us how people can get in touch with you. Um, they can reach us at our phone number at 386-215-3691, or you can just reach us on our website, um, www.mbsstrategicsolutions.com. Okay, awesome. And don't worry about it. We're going to go through it again and again and again and again <laughs> until we get it. So let's just start with some of the questions that really. So what made, what made you get into government contracting in, in business consulting? All right. So I had worked in the federal contracting sphere for about 10 years. Um, I have been a CFO. I've been an HR director. Um, some would say I've even been interim CEO. So I did it for so long. Um, and it's a very uh, male dominated industry. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, as far as you're going to go is as far as you're going to go. It's very hard for females to make it very far in the government sector. Mm -hmm. um, but what I've found is that there are a lot of businesses, especially a lot of small woman owned businesses that are like really striving to make it in the federal space and don't have enough consultants and mentors that reach out to them and understand their struggles. Mm -hmm. And so though I help everyone, mm -hmm. um, my goal and my mission was to mm -hmm. mostly support women that needed that support because they had a lot of male figures that didn't understand their struggles. And so that really kind of gave me a passion. Um, and I had been in the industry so long and I knew already so much information that mm -hmm. I feel like in this industry, we kind of tailor and hold on to mm -hmm. yes. knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just kind of branched off, quit my job, and started a business. Good and for you. It's been amazing. We are, So you joined the Daredevils group. Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's <laughs> awesome. So tell us, um, how do you go about it? What is the process to get your services? Yeah. Uh, just if I were to, because I do have my own business besides being the president of the chamber. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I were to want to go into the federal platform mm -hmm. arena. Um, what does that look like? How do I start? How does that, what does that look like? So first and foremost, it comes with a lot of coaching and training. So we would set up a call and go over your business and to make sure, you know, I, I don't sell a one service fits all. It really is based on you because it comes with a lot of coaching. It comes a lot of mentoring and it really is defining your why. Mm -hmm. Because it's not an easy process. So you're essentially creating a revenue stream that is completely different. And you almost have to take a step back and relearn business altogether. Okay. Because there's so many different variables. So mm -hmm. what that would look like is that we would do an initial review of your business mm -hmm. and your goals and mm -hmm. kind of set you up with what is that three month goal? What is that six month goal? What is that yearly goal? And what is the outcome? Mm -hmm. um, because it all kind of interfaces with your operations, your marketing, your revenue, you know getting you registered in SAM.gov, making sure yes. that you have the networks that you need and kind of putting that all in place mm -hmm. and setting up a plan for you. So we come mm -hmm. up with like a strategy and okay. alter your business plan. Um, but most people come to me just with, a, I want stable income. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of the feast and famine of a small business life and I need stable revenue. And so we help them find who buys what they sell. Mm -hmm. We help and teach them how to market to their buyers, mm -hmm. how to be at those events and build those relationships mm -hmm. and ultimately write proposals so that you can make some wins and secure some contracts. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Because really, if you don't have a contract, you don't have a business. That's really, no. that's really the bottom line. Yeah. It, it, it really is. It really is. So um, share with me some of your success stories. Oh, dear. Yes. Um, That's the stuff that keeps us moving. Uh -huh. I had um, I had a wonderful lady who was doing medical supplies. 
um, she wanted to transition to medical services, which is actually very recent. And she was the sweetest lady. Um, she had a very small budget. So, you know, sometimes um, you can take a loss now for a long-term gain. Um, and we decided to, you know, help her out with her proposal. So, you know, we went, we took it over, we did a management approach, a staffing approach, and we kind of told her how this would go if you got the position. If you got this contract, this is what you're going to need to do step by step. Um, and she gave us total faith because um, she really wanted to transition from products to services. And as anyone knows, the VA is huge right now with billions of dollars for staffing to try to replenish their nursing. So we were like, I've got you. Mm -hmm. We submitted that for her contracting officer calls her and says, if you can partner with someone to give you a more hefty past performance, we'll take you. Um, because she did have an 8A. So he was like, I'll, you know, be able to, you know, hit my set aside. Yes. But also, you know, I can entrust that you yes. can handle this if you have yes. a good partner. Yes. So we got her in touch with Aya Healthcare, which is one of the largest companies mm -hmm. that do um, medical staffing. And they were just the most inviting and welcoming awesome. and warm. And they were like, we are happy to help you. They took her on immediately That's awesome. and registered on her. And instantly now she is now providing medical services now. That is awesome. And she called crying and happy. And That's that right awesome. there is better than a paycheck. Right? Yes. Yes, it is because you get your paycheck so of good. the heart. That is yeah. awesome. It changes people's lives in legacies and families. Yeah. That's one of the things that as whatever type of business we have, yeah. you know, if we look at it, how do we benefit the community? How do we change the world? Yeah. If one person, one business at a time, yeah. because now she hires people to mm -hmm. serve our veterans. Yeah. So it's really a domino effect of blessings yep. that it started with somebody like you taking yeah. her by the hand, you know, like, okay, you got a small budget. We're going to go ahead and yeah. work with you. And because really you get, you either you get paid now, you get paid late. You exactly. don't get paid anyways. Always, we're her yes. team forever. If we yes. can build her revenue yes. to then support us mm -hmm. in the long run, that's a win for me. Yes. I mean, yes. that's really all of business yes. is putting in that investment, mm -hmm. just putting those seeds in there. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're always willing to work with you no matter what your budget is. Yes. I don't look at every, you know, I'm, I'm a small girl from the Bronx, New York. Like yes. I, I was poor. Mm -hmm. So, and now I have things that I could have never even imagined. And that comes mm -hmm. with hard work. And at the yes. end of the day, not just hard work, someone that believes in you. Yes. So yes. every single person that comes to me comes from different backgrounds and different, you know, but mm -hmm. it's all the same outcome. I want generational wealth. Yes. I want to support my family. I want to get out of poverty. I want stable income. I want hope. Yes. And so we're here not just for the top line executives that, you know, have the millions to spend on it, but mm. for the people that actually want to make a difference, not only for themselves and their family, but for the people around them. Mm. So that's ultimately what we're here and for. And that was one of the things that I was going to ask you, like what size, what the smallest size business that you guys support? Oh. Do you support <laughs> solopreneur? Yeah. Do you, you know what? Yeah, what I've helped, because... I mean, I've helped people that don't even have their EIN yet. Oh, so wow. So yeah, they're, they're, they're at work and they're just working to, and to, and hitting me up and saying, I just want to quit my job. Mm. How I need help. Mm. There are so many people that are struggling right now and that are not making enough. And they see this world, you know, obviously I think social media has a play, play on that, but you have so many people that are just like, I want to get out of this, like hustle and bustle of the same mm -hmm. like a Moreau. Mm -hmm. um, and they sometimes don't have that support system mm -hmm. um, internally. So they reach out to a mentor and a coach. And I've mm. had people that don't have anything. And they're willing to spend their last to pay for mentorship services mm -hmm. just to have you believe in them mm -hmm. and give them hope to help them with their EIN, to walk them, to guide them and just have those calls. And those little calls make all the difference in the world. Yes. And it changes their lives. So, yeah, no, we don't say no to anybody. OK, that is awesome. So what's the projection? What's the future? Because you say you are new here. So share with me some of your your experience with the Hispanic Chamber or with the yeah. Hispanic community. We were talking a little bit about that. And now I'm going to get ragadocious about, yeah. about my amazing Hispanic <laughs> community. And just for you guys to know, because we can just get really into yeah, the conversation, yeah. that you can get in touch with her either through the 813-867-3550, call the office Monday through Friday, 8 to 4, and we will be more than glad to guide you. Or you can call directly at what number? 386-215-3691. Awesome. And the website? NVSStrategicSolutions.com. NVS 
strategicsolutions.com. So tell me a little bit of what, what do you project now that you hear and you see, because Tampa mm-hmm. is like, you know, it's, it's so much, it's amazing. It's so much that you can do. So tell us what are, what are your projections? What are, what is the future? What is the future? <sighs> and it's, NVS solutions, strategic solutions look like? I want to get more involved with the Chamber of Commerce, um, Mm -hmm. Tampa and the Hispanic. I want to network. I want to build um, training, speaking engagements, get involved with the community colleges. I'm really big on teaching. Mm -hmm. Um, My staff is really good at, you know, right now they're, I have such a really robust team right now supporting business development, capture management, networking, proposal development. It's it's all pretty much running itself and doing really well. Mm-hmm. Um, but internally, my passion for NBS is kind of also broadening out and teaching mm-hmm. and offering those training courses. If someone can't afford, you know, weekly mentorships or afford our services, you most definitely can afford, you know, to just kind of come to a class mm-hmm. where I can kind of teach you the capabilities that I, I know of and, and the things that I'm aware of to kind of help you on your way to do it yourself. Okay. That's so. awesome. That is really awesome. And definitely mm-hmm. the chamber has the platform for that. Yes. So uh, we welcome you. I am so glad you came to this party because it is a party. And next <laughs> Thursday, uh, March 28th, we are going to have our women's luncheon with the economical impact of Tampa Bay team. And they are going to be talking about the different businesses nice. that are going to be coming to town. So when you have people like that nursing company, yeah. those companies that you support, so they are the ones who actually put the proposals for the city yeah, yeah. to bring the companies here. And they're going to be talking about their projections and what's coming awesome. up and what they after. So That's I'm awesome. really, really, really excited about yeah. that luncheon. And we're going to have women from all walks of life, business women, women that probably just need to be inspired, the hope and to see, you know yeah. what, if she can do it. I, can, I do can do it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you know, somebody was asking me recently, like, oh, what did you learn to decorate like that? And you know what I said? Exposure. It hit me. Like exposure. Yeah. Really being exposed to, yeah. to people, to places, yeah. to, to, to different ambiences, mm-hmm. to, to different energies. Mm-hmm. I said, it's exposure. Yeah. That's really. You don't know what you don't know. Exactly. See, that's why it's so important to have relationships and meet people and have some confidence and courage mm-hmm. and take a little step out. Yes. Go say hi. Yes. And visit. Yes. Yes. No, that is that is true. Where are your office located? Where are your office? We are in Tampa, um, in West Chase. Oh, okay. Awesome. Do yeah. you can you share the address with us? Yeah, yeah. It's one one zero two Avery Oaks Drive in Tampa, Florida, three three six two five. Okay, awesome. So, guys, we know. Is there anything else that you would like to add or stories to tell us? I'm all in for a good. No. School. <laughs> I um I will say that um, Tampa has been absolutely amazing to our business. Um, the Hispanic community has been yes. absolutely amazing and it's so just a big warm. family. It is. It's very welcoming and it's just very easy to network and build your business um i always say you lose 100 percent of the chances you don't take so show up show out and god That's knows true. what happens you lose 100 percent of the chances that you don't yeah. take oh, that God. is so true thank you so much thank you for coming thank you for being part of us thank you so please check us out at www tampahispanicchamber.com.com or call us at 813-867-3550. Thank you and have a good one. Ciao, ciao.